or just get comfortable. Hello and welcome again to A Moment in American History, sponsored by the American Center for Political Leadership. I'm Dennis Ross, director of the ACPL. As we continue to fight this COVID-19 pandemic, we recognize some incredible acts of selfless behavior, especially those in our healthcare providers. And what I'd like to do today is go back 160 years to one of the most significant healthcare providers in the history of our country, Clara Barton. Clara Barton, born in Massachusetts, moved to Washington, D.C. in the 1850s, worked at the U.S. Patent Office as a clerk and was adamant about not working unless she got paid a man's salary, which she did. Uh, in 1861, a troop of uh, Massachusetts Union soldiers were attacked uh, in a riot in Baltimore. They were transported to a makeshift hospital in the United States Senate Chamber in Washington, D.C., where Clara Barton left her job and went there to go work to bring supplies necessary to treat those wounded soldiers. But that wasn't enough for her. She didn't want to sit on the sidelines. In fact, she begged, badgered, and otherwise pleaded to be on the front lines, where she continued as a self-trained nurse to provide care and treatment to the wounded soldiers during battle on the front lines, in fact, doing it so much that one of the surgeons uh, referred to her as the angel of the battlefield. Uh, she worked so hard that uh, she eventually caught typhoid and, and was very ill herself, but she recovered. And after the war, she worked for the War Department and helped identify over 13,000 unknown Union, Union soldiers and mark their graves appropriately. She helped establish the Andersonville National Cemetery in Georgia, and more importantly, she became the president and founder of the American Red Cross, where she stayed there for 23 years, never taking a salary. Clara Barton was quoted as once saying, you must never so much think as whether you like it or not, whether it is bearable or not, you must never think of anything except the need and how to meet it. Those words were spoken by a true American patriot over 160 years ago and are being exemplified and exercised today by every healthcare provider out there today on the front lines fighting this terrible pandemic known as COVID-19. Thanks for joining us. May God continue to bless this great nation. We'll see you again. Thank you.